coop coop that we're going to use as a chicken tractor for our meat chickens and we got it from living traditions homestead and so we got the we got the like cattle panel that'll be the arch or the hoop chicken wire and the wood to build the frame so we're going to build this for our meat chickens when oh yeah yeah. And then where'd Chandler go? I think she went over there with dad. He's getting all the tools ready. We're gonna build it right here. I'm just gonna do a time lapse of it, but Living Traditions Homestead has a full series on building this hoop coop um, on their channel somewhere. It was a couple years ago. So we're gonna build one now and use it for our meat chicken. Give it to daddy. Don't run. Don't run. Thank you. Are you helping daddy? One of my favorite things about homesteading is just having the kids around and helping us with things, even if they're just playing, but just seeing them here helping and pretending to help us build it and just kind of seeing us do what we do. And they even help us with chores and the animals and all that. It's just one of those things in the moment I do notice it and I think about it, but then watching these videos back, it just really shows how involved they are and I just really love that. So this part of the process is definitely easier with two people. This was really the only part of the process that I helped with or had a huge part in because I just had to hold it in place while he secured it. The rest of it, he pretty much did on his own and his dad came and helped some too. I want to get some pliers. They should write on these things, like what are pliers?
And to finish off the coop, we just had to cut the panel to fit the portion at the end because it wasn't, it, we didn't need a whole panel. So we just cut right here and then we attached it just like we did the other ones and it was just this long. And then we'll just use that piece that we cut in the garden somewhere as a trellis. Okay, this is a new day. He started doing the framework around the um, coop where the door is going to be. And I helped him level it out. And that's about all I was good for that day. I think we needed a few things, so we weren't able to finish it that day. But we eventually got it finished, and I will show you that here in a minute. So but this is basically the end result of our ch chicken tractor, is that what you call it? Yep. Hoop coop chicken tractor. It could be stationary and used as a coop or like we're putting these down here and we'll use a chain to be able to pull it to move it to fresh grass. Um, we have meat chickens coming in May. So the next thing we have to do is just find a cover to go over for shade. So probably about half of it or three quarters of it will be have like a shade cloth or some type of vinyl over it. But this is our chicken tractor. The front is a door and then back here is just support. And then it's got the chicken wire we used the cattle panel, and then these are hog rings yeah. to fasten it on there. And then, but we just followed the Living Traditions Homestead video. Um, they did a few things a little bit differently than we did, but pretty much the same thing. So Living Traditions Homestead, they're the ones that have like a in-depth video on this, but this is just what ours turned out looking like. I'll show you the door real quick. So this is just the door. Is it, does it go in or out? In. in. So it's the door. And then he's attaching these. So we will be back in May when our chicks arrive. We ordered 20 um, meat chickens. And I will share all the details about that in May. So go ahead and subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time.